four men, artful and hothead, sleepy and wide awake, went about together in the world, each following his own bent. Endeavour and destiny, the end of the end of them lives, they never understood each other, for each was satisfied of the profundity of his own wisdom. Four men, tricky and simple, tactless and fawning, went about together in the world, each following his own bent. To the end of their lives, they never discussed their methods, for each was assured of the subtlety of his own skill. Four men, underhand and frank, tongue-tied and browbeater, went about together in the world, each following his own bent. To the end of their lives, they never explained themselves to each other, for each was convinced that his talents would win him success. Four men, cheeky and stolid, daring and timid, went about together in the world, each following his own bent. To the end of their lives, they never pointed out each other's faults, for each of them supposed that his conduct was irreproachable. Four men, hanger on and by himself, privileged and on his own, went about together in the world, each following his own bent. To the end of their lives, they never took a close look at each other, for each of them thought that his behaviour suited the times. These various attitudes are outwardly very different, yet all these men travelled on the way, in the direction destined for them. Success on one side seems to be success, but fundamentally it is not. Failure on one side seems to be failure, but fundamentally it is not. Hence error is born from seeming. The division between seeming and truth is confused, but if you are not confused by seeming, you will not be shocked when misfortune befalls you. You will not rejoice in the good fortune you have achieved. Wisdom cannot know the time to act and the time to stop. He who trusts destiny does not think of the things outside him in one way and himself in another. Rather than think of them in different ways, it is better to cover your eyes and stop up your ears and stand with your back to the city wall facing the moat. You will not fall over. Hence it is said, death and life depend on destiny, riches and poverty depend on the times. He who resents being cut off in his prime does not know destiny. He who resents poverty and distress does not know the times. To meet death unafraid, to live in distress without caring, is to know destiny and accept the times, and accept what time brings. Men of much knowledge who measure benefit and harm, estimate fact and falsehood, and calculate the feelings of others lose as often as they win. Men of little knowledge who do not win as often as they lose. What difference does it make whether or not you measure, estimate and calculate? If only you measure nothing and so measure everything, you will be complete. And without deficiency. But it is not by knowledge that one is complete or deficient. Completeness and deficiency come of themselves.